Hello, and welcome to the University Hospital of South Manchester. My name's Julian Hartley, I'm the Chief Executive, and I'm here to introduce the team and to whet your appetite for what we believe is a hugely important development for us. The ECMO service is a key service nationwide, and here at the University of Hospital of South Manchester, which is one of the most significant healthcare organisations in the Northwest, superbly situated for major links and communications, with our own helipad and I'm here outside the Northwest Heart Centre where we also do lung surgery, we have a fantastic opportunity to deliver the best possible outcomes for patients. And as we've shown during one of our busiest winters, we delivered ECMO to a large number of uh, patients with excellent outcomes. The rest of the team in this short video will tell you about our passion and enthusiasm for this service and indeed our commitment to the highest possible standards of patient care. We'd like to take you on a tour of our unit and uh, we'll introduce you to some of the members of our extensive team. Follow us. We have a very strong sense of teamwork here at UHSM and the members of that team include uh, consultant intensivists from two intensive care units cardiac surgeons, thoracic surgeons, the transplant team, we've got a fantastic perfusion department, we have a very flexible and talented nursing team, the physios, the dietitians, the pharmacists, am I missing anybody out here? Um, even the healthcare support workers and we also have a patient uh, transfer a private ambulance team that have been helping our transplant program for the last 25 years who are dedicating themselves to the ECMO programme here as well. So all in all, we've got a fantastic team that uh, managed to save the lives of 10 out of 11 of the ECMO patients that we looked after last winter. We're standing here in the zone where uh, patients were treated for ECMO over the last winter. Now, although we took patients from around the northwest in the main, we also took patients from as far as Newcastle and Durham. That leads us nicely on to the geographical area that we think uh, Withenshaw might be able to cover with a commissioned ECMO service. From the projected figures, UHSM should manage to see more than the minimum of 20 ECMO cases in a year just by covering our own SHA geographical area. We are, however, very conscious of the fact that because of our central location and great transport links, both by road and air, we are in a position to be able to cover areas beyond the northwest region. We could extend our area of coverage up to the Scottish border, across into Yorkshire, westwards into Wales and further south down towards Birmingham. We have plenty of experience of intensive care transfers and we have fantastic support from the Medical Transfer Ambulance Service. When it comes to delivering mobile ECMO, they'll be able to deliver a clinical team and equipment to any ICU in the country in a very expeditious manner. All their staff are qualified advanced motorists and all their ambulances are high performance and fully marked up vehicles. We are ideally situated geographically to import patients from around the country. We are within a mile of the motorway network, within three miles of Manchester International Airport and indeed UHSM has its own helipad right next to A&E. We also have a fully equipped transfer trolley for ICU transfers and we'll be able to adapt this for mobile ECMO capability. We are proud to support Withenshaw's ECMO bid. I'm the Clinical Director of Urgent Care and one of the emergency consultants here at uh, South Manchester. I'm also one of the assistant medical directors at the North West Ambulance Service and the medical director of the Air Ambulance. We are actively behind and supporting the ECMO bid at South Manchester and we've been working with them on the uh, retrieval and repatriation arrangements. Our model of care would start with a referral to one of our ECMO coordinators. Information on contacting them will be spread far and wide through our critical care network arrangements and we intend to go to town on getting out there with the necessary information, lectures, website, informative posters etc. The ECMO coordinators will have access to two consultants on call, both the general ICU consultant and the ECMO consultant on call. Once a decision is made to admit a patient, a retrieval team will go to collect the patient. We have several consultants on both general and cardiac ICU who are transfer trained. More on retrieval in a minute. I can confirm that all the consultants working on the unit here are fully behind UHSM's ECMO bid and fully understand the collaborative working required to deliver this bid safely and effectively. As part of the assessment and referral, process for the delivery of ECMO. The acute intensive care unit consultant who will be 24 hours on call will directly liaise with the cardiothoracic consultant to provide a detailed assessment and appropriate triage. The initial assessment will take place um, on the cardiothoracic unit 
whereby appropriate delivery of ECMO can then be ascertained because of the proximity to the catheter lab. If it's deemed appropriate then that the patient does not require ECMO but still requires specialist respiratory care for their refractory hypoxia, they will be transferred to the acute intensive care unit where additional adjunctive therapies are available if necessary, which would include nitric oxide and also high frequency oscillation ventilation. This emphasises the appropriate collaborative approach for the delivery of a specialist respiratory service, which would also include ECMO. The patient will come to the cardiothoracic critical care unit for their initial assessment. Here's Gary Breer. I'm a senior intensivist on the South Manchester cardiothoracic critical care unit and one of the team of clinicians who helped provide the ECMO service last winter. The 26 bedded cardiothoracic ICU in South Manchester is just two years old and was built to meet all HBN 57 standards. It's light and spacious and provides excellent facilities for providing critical care to patients. What's more, we have spare capacity to accommodate the proposed new ECMO service. We're situated next to catheter labs and cardiothoracic theatres should these be required and have all other major specialties close by in the hospital. The whole cardiology department, cath lab team are fully supportive of the ECMO bid from UHSM, particularly with the utilisation of the cath lab for cannulation of patients. The perfusion team are heavily committed to the ECMO programme, specifically the training of nurses to deliver this programme. This is the equipment we use at UHSM for providing ECMO support to patients. It's the most up-to-date equipment in the world. It's got a three-hour battery supply. It's good for ECMO support and transport. It consists of two drivers, a gas supply from a secret air oxygen blender, and a heater cooler unit to keep the patients warm while they're on ECMO. Last winter we used a model of care that was based fairly heavily around the use of perfusionists. Now we intend to use a more simplified ECMO circuit. We're moving to a more nurse-led model, but still with heavy perfusion supervision. Thanks John. Some of the advantages of a simplified circuit are that there is less risk of air entrainment and clot formation. Our nursing staff are used to these circuits from their experience of VAD support. Our ECMO model of care will involve having a perfusionist on site whenever a patient is on ECMO, but the circuit will be immediately supervised by an ECMO nurse specialist. This model of care is clearly heavily based on Glenfield's model, which has been tried and tested over many years. Talking of perfusionists, here are some more members of the team. Hi, I'm Wesley, I'm one of the perfusionists here at Wyndham Shaw. This is my colleagues Bryce, uh, Paul and Emma. Um, we believe that the Wyndham Shaw Trust should have this bid because it will make use of the vast experience and knowledge that we've gained by regular exposure to ECMOs with the busy transplant programme that we maintain here. And all the department are keen to back the bid. Back the bid. Back the bid. Right, thanks for that chaps. The next part of the patient journey we will look at is the post-ECMO care. The acute intensive care unit will be directly involved in delivering the post-ECMO care. This is an essential component in the patient's journey and I can't stress highly enough the, the value of having had previous experience in delivering this through the surge with H1N1 last winter. We have established guidelines for the management of the post-ECMO care and have very strong established um, experience in the delivery of end of life care in line with the Liverpool Care Pathway. We have the capabilities of offering psychological support, particularly through our evidence-based ICU follow-up clinic uh, and also providing psychological support both for uh, family and carers. Our strong links through the critical care networks will enable and facilitate the appropriate discharge and repatriation of the patient to their um, referring hospital. The quality and safety of care are the most important things that we do here. And for me, the governance arrangements that are in place to ensure that this happens. When I visited the critical care unit last year to to support the staff who were caring for the ECMO patients. It was clear that high quality arrangements had been put in place for the collection and treatment of these patients and their care indeed was of high quality and very safe. And this showed in the outcomes of which I think the team can be justifiably proud. My name's Julie Hughes and I'm the matron for the Cardiothoracic Critical Care Unit here at Withenshaw. At UHSM we are proud of our nurses for their role in treating patients with compassion and dignity. Patient safety is the top of our agenda 
our healthcare associated infection rates have significantly decreased in the last two years as a result of a robust patient safety audit programme. We provide emotional support, relieving fear and anxiety and are all experienced at breaking bad news. We provide information leaflets, website information and have great visitor facilities. We understand the complex needs of ECMO patients and their relatives. Our nursing is underpinned by our commitment to education, partnership working and strong links with local universities, which have enabled us to develop our in-house training courses, of which ECMO will be one starting next year. The fantastic, and here from the cleaners to the top surgeons, they need medals here, never mind footballers getting medals, these need them. Um, fantastic team. My name's Graham Lloyd and I had a double lung transplant uh, two years ago. And all I can say is the hospital was great and the staff was brilliant. Hi, I'm Sarah Bolton and I'm one of the senior finance managers who worked on the ECMO bid. The UHSM pricing and costing structure is built around the proposed service model and the previous experience of providing an ECMO service. The clinical team were at the centre of the costing exercise, which was subsequently considered in detail by the Director of Finance. UHSM are happy to continue to work with the National Specialised Commissioning Team to further refine the pricing structure in relation to the proposed network area and to include any future developments resulting from the implementation of the ECMO standards and service specification. Hi, we're all members of the ECMO team at University Hospital of South Manchester. Hey! Back the bid. <laughs> Results here at UHSM and cardiac surgery have been on, amongst the very best in the country over recent years and that's due to uh, attention to detail on a whole number of different things but particularly important now I believe is the uh, quality of care given on the intensive care unit both by the nursing staff and most importantly by the con consultant intensive care staff. Hi I'm Maria. Hi I'm Roberto. Hi I'm Tim. Hi I'm Ignacio. Hello I'm Igor. Hello I'm Mark. Hi I'm Gary. I'm Will. Hi, I'm Julian and we are the UHSM ECMO team. Hello, my name is Lynn Rigby and I'm one of the senior physios on the cardiothoracic team and we are all fully supportive of Withingshaw's ECMO bid. Last year, during the flu outbreak, we had the busiest period I can ever remember as a consultant working here for 25 years. It was at the time that we pulled together with our cardiothoracic consultant colleagues and we managed to get patients onto ECMO and highly successfully as well. Because of that success and because of the shared working between this unit and the cardiac unit, I fully support this bid for an ECMO centre at South Manchester. I've always been impressed by how the two intensive care units at uh, South Manchester have worked together very closely and uh, particularly impressed by the management of the winter crisis by both the cardiothoracic and the acute intensive care units. Uh, myself and all my colleagues in the vascular department are very much key to support the bid. Innovation has been a big part of many things that we've done here over recent years and a particular example was the way in which the team responded to the swine flu crisis uh, in the winter time uh, with uh, the cardiac surgeons, the intensive care physicians both here and the general intensive care working together uh, that provided good service for many patients with, with, with again excellent results. I'd just like to say that the thoracic surgical services were centralised in uh, South Manchester in uh, April of this year and myself and my entire team would be extremely supportive of the uh, ECMO bid. The rationale behind our success is because we have got a very strong team, uh, we've got experience and we've got dedicated staff and an excellent intensive care department. As a transplant director I fully support the bid. As a team we are confident we can provide a safe, effective patient-centred ECMO service. So you've met the team and I'm sure you get a strong sense of what we're about here at UHSM. And just to summarise, we're passionate about healthcare and delivering excellence for all of our patients. And as we say here at UHSM, patient care is at the heart of all we do. And as one talented team, we've demonstrated that we have a track record in delivering ECMO. We're superbly situated close to major road networks and indeed a helipad to bring patients in from a wide geographical area to benefit from our service and our outcomes as we've demonstrated are the best in the country. We believe we've got the capability, the clinical excellence and the outcomes to deliver a superb ECMO service. Thanks for listening.